So I'm Caitlin Doherty. I'm a senior and I'm a double major in media and communications and art and art history. So I don't have like a specific medium I focus on. Um, as you can see, I kind of like dabble in everything. Mm -hmm. <laughs> like I have some prints that I've been working on, like while well, hand um, watercolor them. Um, I have some paintings. Um, I'm currently working on like a wood burning project. Um, so it's kind of all over the place. <laughs> Visually, I would just say it's like very busy but like entertaining. Um, I think there's just like so much to digest within it um, that it's like exciting to look at. Um, and conceptually, I don't really have like a overall concept I'm focusing on. Um, I feel like I'm kind of just like taking things that are going on around me. Um, like a few of my pieces were focusing on like the racial injustice going on um, and just like religion, just like these bigger concepts that people tend to like not discuss yeah. um, just because it's like a little bit uncomfortable. Um, and I feel like art's kind of like that medium that we can like communicate about it, um, but like in a more effective way. Can you talk about like your use of language a little bit more? Because it seems like text yeah, is very present. Yeah, text is a make. very big thing for me. Um, I think that's also another reason why I'm like, oh, we can use art to discuss these things. So I'm like using text to, I guess, like bring up these bigger ideas without like having to visually make them possible. I don't know if that makes sense, but like. I don't know, the words are just like so bold sometimes. I'm like, I don't really know how to say this, so I'm just literally just gonna put it in text. Yeah, I think it's another way to bring people yeah. into the work. Mm -hmm. Do you have any artistic influences or artists that you admire that you think about um, while you're working? I would say like color-wise, um, I definitely look at Mira Dancy. Um, she's one of my favorites. She does, uses like such bold colors that you don't really see a lot of artists using. Um, and then I would say recently I've been looking at, I think his name's Carl's O'Dowd, I might have pronounced that wrong, um, but he does a lot of, um, like, not cartoon work, but he'll, like, hand draw and do, like, prints. Mm -hmm. um, and I just like how he takes these, like, I don't know, the environment around him, he'll take it and just create it on paper, and it just becomes so, like, interesting to look at. I really don't know where it's going to go yet. Yeah, that's um, okay. I feel is, you is exciting to, um, to just see, um, like, what happens. Yeah. Um, no, I like that. I yeah. like you. You seem very like experimental and how yeah, just like kind of see your art it takes me. me. No, it's yeah. that's a good way to create. I think. Her lab on. Yeah. Okay. Sorry, I'm Roland. Hi, Kate. Hi. <laughs> How are you? I'm good. How are you? I'm doing well. So everything's been submitted. Uh, how do you feel about the work? Do you think it was a success? Are you happy with everything? Yeah, I'm actually really excited with how everything um, turned out. Um, kind of feels weird that it's over already. <laughs> what um What in your studio right now is going to be? on the website for the show? Um, right now I have that drawing, these two paintings, mm -hmm. um, and then the drawing right over here. Do you have a favorite out of them? Um, I think my favorite right now is this drawing up here. Mm -hmm. um, I just had a lot of fun making it. Um, and I kind of took these images from, there's like the Neon Boneyard in Vegas. So I went on their website, you can do like virtual tours because of COVID. Mm -hmm. um, and I was like, all right, that's a weird thing to go through. So I ended up going on the virtual tour and taking a picture um, and just kind of like messing around with it a little bit. Oh, that's um, so cool. Yeah, so it was a really fun process to go through. So the text is from me. Um, okay. Like the overall, yeah, like the larger letters and everything is from there. I just changed like the little letters, like words and stuff like oh, that. What is the text from that you wrote within the S? Um, it's actually from one of these like little drawings I did. Um, mm -hmm. It just says that nothing has to make sense. Um, and I just like kept writing it in the letter. So where do you see the work going after the show? Do you think you're going to keep doing similar things? Are you going to keep making art after graduation? Um, ideally, I would love to continue with this idea um, just because I've had a lot of fun with it. Mm -hmm. um, and I also have been trying to work on like animating them a little bit. Yeah, yeah I just yeah. want to continue to like keep pushing. It's not perfect yet, but it's definitely fun to like mess around with and see like where I can go with it. Um, well, thank you so much. I'm really excited about the work you have on the show. Um, I look forward to seeing what you're going to make next. Thank you. Um, that's everything.